Good evening. This is a meeting of the Scarborough Board of Education, and it's Thursday, September 1st, 2016. May I have the attendance, please, Mrs. Sizemore? Mrs. Bealey? Here. Mrs. Lyford? Here. Mrs. Massengill? Here. Dr. Miles? <coughs> Mrs. Murphy? Here. Ms. Perry? Here. Mrs. Shea? Here. Ms. Hobbs? Here. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 4.0, are there any adjustments to the agenda? There are none. Very good. 5.0, the superintendent's report. So I'm excited to report that school is officially open. Um, today was the first day that we had all of our students K-12. to um, This year, like years in the past, we had a staggered start. So on Tuesday, we started with all of our new students to the buildings in the district. So students in grades three, six, and nine, and they had a discovery day in their schools to get acclimated and learn um, how things work. I had the opportunity to visit Wentworth and spend some time with our incoming third graders. And also I was at the high school um, and got to sit in class with some of our freshmen. So I was um, extremely impressed to see the way our staff was all hands on deck on that day and really working together to make um, the kids feel welcome and answer their questions. And I had a, a particular moment at the high school where I was walking in the hallway during classes and I could see the freshmen asking questions and um, the teachers were all out in the hallway to support them and I thought, man, I wish I had that experience when I was a freshman because I thought just they'll be standing two inches taller the next day when the upperclassmen join them um, because they'll know exactly how things work. And they had one-on-one -on -one time just working with their lockers and working out all those kinks that we all experienced as freshmen. So that was really great. And then um, today I was, I was able to be at Pleasant Hill as the bus arrived and saw our incoming kindergartners, um, but also the confidence of the first and second graders who were so excited to be back and knew how things worked. And one of the amazing things I noticed um, throughout the opening of school this year was how much support uh, a lot of our children have from their parents. Um, many children today being uh, dropped off at school with both their moms and their dads or two parents and grandparents also, um, two sets of grandparents in some <laughs> cases. So <laughs> it really was something to see. Um, and then working backwards a little bit, Monday was our opening day <coughs> as a staff and we had um, a couple of hours together as an entire district. And really the, the goal of the day was to, to motivate and inspire our teachers uh, so that they would be ready to receive the children. And there's been lots of feedback that says that we did just that. And so that was a big collaborative effort by everyone in the district to make that um, a warm and welcome start for our, for our staff. And so it's, we're feeling really good about the way things went. And I think everyone's going to be ready for a four-day weekend to just kind of take it all in and reflect on uh, their goals for this year and how the teachers and students will work together to do some amazing things. Thank you. 6.0, the chair's report. The chair does not have a report for you this evening. There's nothing new happening right now. <laughs> 7.0, committee reports, um, policy. Uh, policy has not met since our last meeting. I believe we are scheduled to meet um, Monday the 12th at 6 p.m. Right. Can you double check while you're doing other reports. I think you're right, yeah. Yeah, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Committee reports? Yes, and exactly. negotiations, uh, as I reported last time, has concluded on the professional contract, and I will be briefing the board on that this evening. It should not take too long. And uh, we will be meeting shortly, I think, because we will have two other contracts to start negotiating this year. The um, support staff and bus, driver. bus drivers. Very good. Eight so, yes. Sorry. Finance. Um, I was in here last year's uh, last meeting, so I just wanted to quickly oh, go over okay. finance. We haven't met um, in quite some time, and our next meeting will be October 6th, where we'll go over the um, FY16 final um, budget. What time is that? Six o'clock here. 
So that will be the year-end report. Um, we were bumped tonight because we had a, a leadership council and school board retreat. Um, I think that's it for now. Very good. 7.0 student re representative report. Lizzie, you have anything? Yes. It's Thank you. Obviously, been a pretty big week for everyone. <laughs> so, um, obviously, really exciting. Everyone's going back to school. Um, I know, particularly in my house, my sister, who's going into first grade, got to meet her teacher, and it's all we talked about mm -hmm. for about a day and a half. <laughs> so, I guess that was very exciting for all of the K through two students to have that one on one time and meet their teacher. Um, at the Went at Wentworth. Um, they started the year with a third grade social for all the incoming third graders, which I'm pretty sure they're calling a pop school social, which is possibly the most adorable thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, and so that went really well. Um, at the middle school, um, everything's getting into the swing of things. Their fall sports are starting next week. Um, so good luck to all of the middle schoolers who are trying out for their sports teams next week. And then at the high school, um, so we had a very successful freshman and transfer student orientation day um, with a really high turnout for student volunteers there giving tours and kind of giving their advice to the incoming freshmen and students who have transferred um, from other schools. So we kicked off the first day with the senior parade into the school um, and then a big senior breakfast that was put on by the school and by the senior class parents. Um, and then the high school students have been adjusting to the new bell schedule with the um, academic enrichment and support time or the advisory time that we have every day. And overall, I've been hearing pretty good things about it. Everyone's excited to have time every day to go ask their teachers for help, especially a lot of the seniors who know that this year is when they're really going to need the help. So that's been going very well. Um, Athletics and activities are all in full swing with the regular season games starting in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then rehearsals for this fall's Oak Hill Players production have started. Um, and as well as the beginning of year meetings for a lot of the clubs and organizations at the school. So it's been a really good start to the year and we're hoping that it's going to keep going that way. And what is the play? Um, the play this year is called Crazy For You. Uh, it's got a lot of showgirls and some tap dancing cowboys, and I think that's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie, will you be um, starting a process to search for a junior? Yes, we are going to start that, I think you said, at the end of the month. Yes, and I'm very excited about that. I'm excited to have a person next to me. It feels so lonely at this yeah. table all by myself. <laughs> you can move this way if you want to be. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. 9.0, public comment. Is there anyone from the public who wishes to make a statement? Please come to the podium. State your name and address. Seeing none, close the public comment session. 10.0, new business. 10.1, second reading of policy JLCD, administering medication to students. Is there a motion? Move approval as presented. Second. Discussion. I don't think there are any changes between the first nope. reading and the second reading, so. Any questions? That was going to be my <coughs> question. <coughs> All in favor of policy JLCD. Plus one. One absent. 11.0, we have appointments this year, right now. For, do you want to just go down the list and as long as they're teachers, if they're coaches, um, no, my preference is to, to hold that off until the end and any new um, appointments that would be academic, I mean, athletically related, but just go down with the classroom teachers? Yep. That'd be great. Thanks. Okay. So um, the first appointment is a middle school ESL teacher. Anna Cosma has been nominated to fill this position created by a resignation. Mrs. Cosma received both her Bachelor of Arts degree and her Master's degree in English, Psychology, and Education from, someone help me with that word? Wow. Oh, Patty Gorsk. Patty Gorsk. <laughs> yeah. Patty Gorsk. 
State Pedagogical Institute in Foreign Language in Pedagorsk, Russia. She has been both a Russian interpreter and translator in the greater Portland area for over 20 years. Most recently, she has been an ESL teacher in MSAD number six for the last seven years. Mrs. Cosma will be placed on step 15 of the master scale per the collective bargaining agreement. The recommendation is to appoint Anna Cosma as the middle school ESL teacher. Wentworth School STEM teacher Brandon Johnson has been selected to fill this newly created position. Mr. Johnson received his Bachelor of Arts degree in communication from the University of Southern Maine and his teaching certificate through the ETEP program also from USM. Mr. Johnson was an academic support ed tech at Pleasant Hill School in this past year. Mr. Johnson will be placed on step one of the bachelor scale per the collective bargaining agreement. The recommendation is to appoint Brandon Johnson as a Wentworth School STEM teacher. Wentworth School instructional math coach <coughs> James Marshall has been nominated to fill this position created by a resignation. Mr. Marshall received his bachelor's degree in history from Colorado College and his master's in education from the College of New Jersey. He taught for over 17 years in schools in Texas, New York, and Bangkok, Thailand. Mr. Marshall will be placed on step 16 of the master scale per the collective bargaining agreement. The recommendation is to appoint James Marshall as the Wentworth School instructional math coach. High school, middle school librarian, <coughs> Amy Robertson is chosen to fill this position created by a resignation. Mrs. Robertson received both her Bachelor of Arts degree in History and American Studies and her Master's degree in Library Science from the University of North Carolina. She is pursuing her Master's degree in Educational Technology from Lesley University. She has worked in many different libraries in North Carolina, Massachusetts, Iowa, and Texas, and most recently in York High School. Ms. Robertson will be placed on step eight of the master's scale per the collective bargaining agreement. The recommendation is to appoint Amy Robertson as the high school and middle school librarian. Wentworth School Classroom Teacher, Lori Alves has been recommended to fill this position created by a resignation. Ms. Alves earned her Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Massachusetts. She received her master's degree from Arizona <coughs> State University she has taught at elementary at the elementary level since 1999 in schools in Arizona and Maine and for the last 12 years at MSAD number 51. Ms. Alves will be placed on step 18 of the master's plus 15 per scale per the collective bargaining agreement. The recommendation is to appoint Lori Alves as a Wentworth School classroom teacher. Blue Point School classroom teacher, this is a one year position. Stacy Rozak has been selected to fill this one-year position created by a realignment. Mrs. Rozak received a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education from the University of Maine. She has been a classroom teacher for four years in various schools in Maine. Mrs. Rozak will be placed on step four of the bachelor's scale per the collective <coughs> bargaining agreement. The recommendation is to appoint Stacy Rozak as Blue Point School one-year classroom teacher. The final teaching appointment is a middle school art teacher. This is also a one-year position. Garrett White has been nominated to fill this position created by a one-year leave of absence. Mr. White received his bachelor's degree in art education from the University of Maine. He has been an art teacher at VZ Community School for three years. Mr. White will be placed on step four of the bachelor scale per the collective bargaining agreement. The recommendation is to appoint Garrett White as a one-year middle school art teacher. Move approval of all those presented. Second. Any discussion? Questions? All in favor? Six plus one. 11.8 Special Services Consulting Teachers. So that is the list that you see attached. Mm -hmm to the agenda there. There's several teaches, teachers that are listed <coughs> at different levels. Um, some positions will be grant funded while others are funded through the general um, budget. And would you do 11.9 as well? The Wentworth um, 
school lead teachers will take those two groups together. Sure. Um, do you want to do the high school lead teachers as mm -hmm. well? They're, yes. They're all listed there um, for you. Again, there's several teachers in each position along with the, the fall coaches. Okay, so we'll take that all together, 11.8 through 11.12. Is there a motion? Move approval um, is presented. Second. Very good. Any questions? Discussion? Christina. Yes, I have a question. The um, two asterisks where it said shared responsibility each quarter. I'm, it's shared among uh, the other people on the team. Okay. So each one is taking a quarter or is that the way I, because it looks like it's just for grade seven. Yes. Right? Did I read that correctly yep. when I read this Each the quarter, other um, there's four people and they're going to share the responsibility. So one would do one quarter, the next one would do the next quarter, the next one would do the third quarter, and the, then the fourth quarter. Okay. That's why it's divvied up in that amount. Okay. Any other questions? Um, as far as, oh, I have one. You do? Sorry. As far as the coaches go, um, I've got the middle school here. Um, we have seen some of the high school coaches, or have we seen them all? We did. Mm -hmm. All right, that was like two meetings ago, but I just want to make sure. Are there any other middle school fall coaches, or this is it? Okay, thank you. All in favor? Six plus one, one absent. 12.0, a motion to go into executive session pursuant to one MRSA, subsection 4056D, for the purpose of discussing the Scarborough Education Association's contract not to return to public session. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Six plus one. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. No, that's not fair. Second. Not to return. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to. And we will not be returning to public session. Thank you. That's a record. Oh Twenty-one minutes. Well, let's tell Kate to stay away more often. <laughs>